portable helicopters that you could uh, carry on your back or, uh, you know, the Wright Brothers style airplanes uh, on through World War One and World War Two airfare uh, or air, air airplanes uh, and fighters. And then they had a whole section in the back. So cool. It had the discovery, the uh, the, the the most flown uh, space shuttle. Uh, from uh, NASA uh, was uh, there at home uh, in the back hangar there and uh, they've got these great exhibits around it from Apollo and the Mercury missions and uh, all sorts of capsules from those things such a cool thing got me so interested in uh, flight again so uh, you know you think about selfies Uh, you don't naturally think about flight but uh, you might someday soon in 2017 there's going to be a new device coming out called the Air Selfie And I've got some audio clips here uh, from Air Selfie that's going to describe for us a little bit about this. But before we get to that, uh, for those of you that have been living in a cave the past 10 years and are not aware of the uh, trends here and the craze around selfies uh, or what perhaps a selfie is, uh, we turn to our dear friend Wikipedia uh, to learn about a selfie. And I got to say, this word selfie, I think, is the only differentiator here because people have been taking pictures of themselves for uh, 200 years at this point, practically. But uh, so be it. A selfie is a self-portrait photograph typically taken with a digital camera or a camera phone held in the hand or supported by a selfie stick. And my mother got me a selfie stick uh, last year for my birthday, a nice Bluetooth one. Uh, Selfies are often shared on social networking services such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, They are usually flattering and made to appear casual. Most selfies are taken with a camera held at arm's length or pointed at a mirror rather than by using a self-timer. That's how you used to do it, right? Uh, a selfie stick can be used to position the camera farther away from the subject, allowing the camera to be uh, to, to see more around them. Um, these things have been out for quite some time. You know, I remember taking selfies, man, when I was uh, on my first international trip to Italy back in the late 90s. Uh, I had one of those disposable cameras and I was just by myself in Italy with a backpack and uh, I was taking pictures of myself with that. Uh, but we didn't call them selfies then. Um, I love this though. These things, uh, you know, there's celebrities, selfies all, uh, all over the place. Both men and women like to take selfies. Uh, you get into the sociology of this. Uh, here's my favorite though. Maybe some of you have seen this, uh, in 2011, uh, forgive me if I get the, the pronunciation wrong here, but it's a big monkey, uh, a crested black macaque. I'm not sure how you pronounce M A C A Q U E, uh, pressed a trigger on a wildlife photographer's camera set up in, uh, an Indonesian jungle for that specific purpose. So, uh, when the camera was later recovered, it was found to contain hundreds of selfies, including one of a grinning female monkey. This incident set off an unusual debate about copyright. In 2016, a federal judge ruled that the monkey cannot own the copyright to the images. So sorry there, uh, Mr. Monkey, you do not own the copyright to those uh, selfies. But you, my friends, if you take one of yourself, you do. I don't know where they differentiate uh, the ruling on that, but uh, so be it. Uh, So listen, we've got uh, a little bit of information here about this Kickstarter project that's going on about this smartphone-sized uh, air selfie uh, from the sun.co.uk, November 25th. This is by Jasper Hamill. Here's a little bit of information for us. Um, let's see. A smartphone-sized air selfie is a flying camera drone, uh, which goes beyond a selfie stick. Tiny flying machine can soar to a height of 20 meters and snap even more pictures of its owner. Uh, get ready. Millennials will be able to like carry the device in their pocket a flying photo drone of course which will allow them to snap endless images of themselves from way up in the air the air selfie is the first pocket-sized flying camera and the only portable flying camera that integrates with smartphones it features four powerful propellers which allow it to zoom to a height of more than 20 meters the air selfie which we've dubbed the millennial falcon (laughs) <laughs> I get it. Star Wars reference uh, is also fitted with a five megapixel video camera and is smaller than a smartphone and can fly vertically up to 66 feet to control it. You just need an iPhone or Android device and the desire to take pictures of yourself over and over and over again. Uh, so let's check this out here from the site itself. We've got um, 
a uh, clip here from the site itself about uh, the air selfie. I think these guys are out of Milan, Italy, if I read correctly. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be taking so many more pictures of yourself now from floatable cameras. Uh, and who knows, one of these uh, things might end up in the Air and Space Museum one day. You see? Amazing, isn't it? This is the Air Selfie, the only portable flying camera integrated into your mobile phone cover. Actually, it Micro and ultra light, it comes with its very own device for storage and charging, with an easy one hand control from its own app. Where did the idea come from? <laughs> well, I'll show you. Look at this, what an epic day out. A bona fide selfie time, as they say. Just need to squeeze a teeny Group bit. Group of people standing no, on the beach. Uh, uh, never mind. Falling over each other. Ah, a more manageable group. Just two guys, actually, that want to take a selfie to remember this wonderful place. They're hiking with a waterfall well, in the background. Well, I guess they can just describe the view to their friends back home, right? Okay, one more try. This time, a good old barbecue Man outside on mango. a sunny day with lots of friends. Barbecue. Let's try the selfie cup. stick strategy. Still can't fit everybody in. Annoying situations, am I right? We've all been there, buddy. That's how Air Selfie was born. A perfect team gathered together, working in London, Milan, and Shanghai to combine micro-flying technologies, ultralight HD cameras with in-flight stability systems. Air Selfie can travel in a 20-meter radius and hovers for up to three minutes. It's easily controllable from both iOS or Android smartphone apps. It's only 52 grams, and it slots into its phone cover and recharges. So what if the guys had an air selfie with them? They'd make it hover, find the perfect angle, and leave the controls. Finally, snap an amazing photo with the selfie delay timer mode while it is autonomously flying and keeping its position in the air. Awesome! What about the two explorers? They'd select the classic flying mode from the three options available. Control Air Selfie through the app by holding the phone horizontally and take both memorable photos and videos. And what would have happened at the barbecue? Enough with the squeezing. Just select the selfie mode. Use only two buttons to find the right distance to shoot and take a great picture. Pretty cool, right? Eh? What about an indoor location? Whatever it may be, a party at somebody's house or a night out in a club, there are no issues. Air Selfie flies easily. It's simple to control and very safe. And once you shoot a great picture, don't keep it to yourself. It's so easy to share it right from your phone. As easy as grabbing the air selfie safely while it's still hovering in the air. So this is Air Selfie, the only portable flying camera integrated into your mobile phone cover. Ready to explore new perspectives? Slips right out of the cover. Let's take a look at its technical features. Power bank inside its own custom phone cover. A battery that charges itself in only 30 minutes. 5 megapixel HD video camera to shoot social media optimized images. Sophisticated sensors and its own Wi-Fi control unit. In-flight stability systems to hover autonomously. The smallest and most powerful brushless motors. It's safe to grab while it's still hovering. And of course, its own 4 gigabyte micro SD memory. Ultra light with a solid Italian designed case. Compact and easy to carry with you anywhere you go. Ready for the revolution? Air Selfie is on Kickstarter. Help us to get it into production. Become an Air Selfie ambassador by pre ordering now. So there you go, Air Selfie. Uh, you can Google that, uh, find it on uh, Kickstarter. And if you'd like to uh, join the Kickstarter campaign, I think you can do uh, you can do so and get one of these things for I think it's about two hundred bucks or two hundred fifty bucks, uh, depending on the different tiers of Kickstarter contributions that you can do. Uh, you know, one is uh, you get the device, another is you get the case with the device, another is you get another charger, another cable, uh, all those types of things. So there's different tiers uh, that you can do, you can use to support this Kickstarter campaign. And I think they I saw that they were looking to. Um, 
In order to get this thing off the ground, uh, they were originally looking for about $50,000 in Kickstarter contributions, and they're already well over $300,000 in these contributions. Uh, So it does look like this thing is going to, wait for it, get off the ground. (laughs) Okay. Bye. Uh, Wife going to get the children right now. Um, So uh, this thing, it looks like it is going to get off the ground, uh, and it's going to take, wait for it, it's going to take selfies. Wait for it to a new level. <laughs> the millennial falcon, as they call it. So selfies um, have taken over the uh, world. Uh, the narcissistic uh, tendencies of humanity uh, definitely on display in the uh, recent presidential elections as well. Um, well, let's see. Let's take a look at the history here uh, of selfies. So Robert Cornelius uh, was an American pioneer in photography. He produced a daguerre type of himself. I don't know. A daguerre type. D-A-G-U-E-R-R-E-O-T-Y-P-E. There's our word of the day. Uh, He produced this uh, picture of himself. We'll call it a selfie before they called it a selfie. Uh, In 1839, uh, which is also one of the first uh, photographs of a person almost 200 years ago, Uh, because the process was slow. He was able to uncover the lens, run into the shot for a minute or more, and then replace the lens cap. He recorded on the back of the first light picture ever taken uh, in 1839, uh, the debut of the portable Kodak Brownie box camera in 1900 led to uh, photographic self portrait, uh, becoming a more widespread technique. Uh, the method was usually by mirror and stabilizing the camera either on a nearby object or on a tripod while framing uh, via a few a viewfinder at the top of the box. Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna of Russia, at the age of 13, was one of the first teenagers to take her own picture using a mirror uh, to send to a friend in 1914. See, social media has been around since the early 1900s. In a letter that accompanied the fo- photograph, she wrote, I took this picture of myself looking at the mirror. It was very hard as my hands were trembling. Uh, photographic self-portraiture... Uh, flourished in the 1970s when affordable instant cameras birthed the new medium of self-expression, capturing uncharacteristically personal insight into otherwise conservative individuals and allowing amateurs to learn photography with immediate results. This practice transitioned naturally across to digital cameras as they supplanted film cameras around the turn of the millennium. The first use of the word selfie in any paper or electronic medium appeared in an Australian Internet forum on 13th of September, 2002. In Carl Krushynicki's Dr. Carl Self-Service Science Forum, a post by Nathan Hope stated, Um, drunk at mate's 21st, I tripped over... Uh, and landed lip first with front teeth coming a very close second on a set of steps. I had a hole about one centimeter long right through my bottom lip. And sorry about that focus. It was a selfie. The concept of uploading group self-taken Photographs to the Internet, although with a uh, disposable camera and not a smartphone, uh, dates to a Web page created by Australians in September of 2001, including photos taken in the late 1990s captured by the Internet Archive in April 2004. Uh, as early as 2003, Italian media uh, artist Alberto Frigo uh, started photographing every object his right hand uses. The lifelong project resulted in the first categorized collection of selfies showing the artist every time he brushed his teeth, every time he put on deodorant, etc. The Sony Ericsson Z1010 mobile phone released in late 2003 introduced the concept of a front-facing camera. That was the very first front-facing camera. The Z1010's front-facing camera had a sensor for selfies and video calls. So we're learning about the history of the selfie here. And, uh, you know, air selfie, again, wait for it. Taking the selfie to a new level.
20 meters. The term selfie was discussed by photographer Jim Krause in 2005, although photos in the selfie genre predate the widespread use of the term. Uh, in the early 2000s, before Facebook became the dominant online social network, self-taken photographs were particularly common on MySpace. Uh, however, writer Kate Lussie recounts that between 2006 and 2009, uh, the MySpace pick, typically an amateurish flag,